Thanks to our sponsor, Dundeal.ie, we bring you Business Bites, the best bits of that great business show served up in individual servings. Dundeal Motors is home to Ireland's largest range of new and premium used cars. That's why you'll find cars from Mercedes-Benz, Audi and BMW dealerships on Dundeal. Are you looking for a seven-seater to accommodate your growing family? Maybe you're after a luxury saloon to make a statement. We have the car for you. You'll also find Ireland's largest range of electric cars to help you make the switch. Visit dundeal.ie today to start the search for your next car. From episode 122, here's Adam Ferguson of daft.ie. Let's start with the facts. According to the latest census, there are over 2.1 million homes in the state. And from 2016 to 2022, we added another 120,000 homes to the national stock. And we've probably added another 30,000 homes in the last year. So that is the total addressable market for the online business, daft.ie, part of Distilled Media, our shiny new sponsor. Anyone who has ever bought, sold or dreamt of owning a home is already familiar with daft.ie. But what you won't know, because they haven't told anyone yet, is what they'll be doing in the future to make the buying and selling of property easier. But who better to ask about all of the above but Adam Ferguson, Chief Commercial Officer with Distilled Media, as I say, the company that owns daft.ie. Adam, welcome to that great business show. Thanks for such a great intro, Connell. The first thing I have to know is, you have a kind of a bit of a techie background. However, I looked you up. What you studied was ag science. How did you go from ag science to trying to sell houses on the internet? Okay, that's a... Okay, I'll, I'll try and do the summary as quick as I can. It was a question I wasn't expecting. Fair play for looking me up with such detail. Um I studied ag science in UCD for two years before going to America on a J1 and becoming a working in the construction industry, we'll say. Uh, Long story short, I traveled to New Zealand, spent two and a half years in the States, went to New Zealand for a while, Southeast Asia, came back, set up a construction company in uh, West Cork, where I'm from. Uh, worked in construction, built that up um, into a successful business, five, six employees um, and a host of subcontractors before the property crash in 2008, at which point we decided that continuing with that business wasn't going to be fruitful. Um, And luckily I got involved in classifieds and technology and got involved in digital marketing at a time when you know, for one ex, every one expert that was needed in SEO or AdWords, there was 10 uh, six months later and I happened to be in the right place at the right time, developed some skills um, and capitalised and utilised those to, to, to work in technology. So one pivot, two pivots, three pivots, four. How many more? Because you are now, as I said, Chief Commercial Officer with Distilled and Distilled, let's talk about them, is a very, very big and successful company. Yeah, so Distilled is made up of daft, uh, done deal and adverts and now Gumtree as well. We are a group of classifieds business. Our mission is to connect businesses and people um, and people to people uh, to make better buying and selling for everyone in Ireland. So what we do and what, what makes us uh, tick is getting up in the morning to make transactions in rental property, cars, farming, uh, generalist classifieds easier for everybody in Ireland. Which easily brings me into my first obvious question, because you just told me that everybody asks you this one anyway, is it is an advertising platform. When will you become an estate agent? If I had a euro for every time I was asked that, I'd have 5,000 euros because there's roughly 5,000 people who work in uh, real estate professional roles similar to estate agents via 1,400 offices in Ireland. Um, The answer is we're not ever going to become an estate agent. You heard Um, it here first. Yeah. uh, And the reason for that is that's not who we are. We don't show property. We don't drive about the country with sets of keys to, 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 to show property. We don't 
necessarily market property. We don't assess valuations of property, at least in person, accurately. Um, what we do is develop tools for estate agents and for vendors or for people who are looking to rent a property to make things easier, but in the online space. If we can't do it from behind a computer, we're not going to do it. That's not who we are. That's not our DNA. That's certainly not our founder's DNA, Brian and Eamon Fallon. Um, and for that reason, we're never going to become an estate agent. I had them on the business show when I was with Today FM. Very nice fellas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, great fellas. I'm, I'm, I'm very fortunate to work in such a great culture that is distilled, driven now, by them. Are you, when I say you, is daft estate agent driven only or could Conal O'Moran go down and put his home uh, and sell it directly through Daft? I'll link that answer to the vision. So our outcome we want to derive is better buying and selling for everyone. And if you want to do that, you need all of the stock available. So as such, as a private sales, um, it's not something I'd advise. I think using an estate agent is a very good way to sell a house. But if you want to place an ad privately on Daft, absolutely, we allow uh anyone to place a sale ad on Daft. With pictures and videos With pictures, and the whole videos, buying, yeah. everything, everything you want. You can buy a featured ad, you can buy a pre you can buy one of the Advantage ads, um, featured do you, have premium. Much, do you have much of that business? Very little. There's very few people privately sell their house. There's large amounts of people who let houses privately, but very few people sell houses privately. Why? I think the value of an estate agent is, it's, 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 it's a mission. So, you know, Dealing with the solicitor, it's enough of a mission as it is, right? So, oh, I am, you know. you've said enough. Dealing with the solicitor, full stop. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It it's, it's, it's a very big, it's, it's a big task. Why wouldn't you hire a professional to help you resolve that big task? You have enough to do with moving house, etc. I and I, I think that's why it's done. Um, estate agents advertising daft for very low cost relative to what we would charge a private user, um, because estate agents are our most plus important customers and I don't see why practically essentially makes sense to users and that's why they don't or to vendors. Now you're alone with me here so nobody's listening. <laughs> Tell me what do estate agents in your view do wrong when they're using Daft? So what are the little tricks that people should look at and look out for and use themselves? So we have two products that really help vendors. The first is Advantage Ads. So what we're aiming to do and how we're looking to grow the business is to give vendors the opportunity to promote their houses or properties ahead of other properties. So what we call advantage ads. So you can buy a featured advantage ad that's larger, sits on top of the listings, or you can buy a premium, or you can buy a standard ad. All too often, these options aren't presented to potential to vendors or potential vendors. And options like, you know, print advertising where, you know, our audience has grown by, you know, it's now it's now 300 users a day, 300,000 users a day who have you spent 10 minutes in really? that. Yeah. So it's one of the busiest really? websites in Ireland. 300,000. What are they doing? And, and a browsing property. I think Irish people may be addicted <laughs> to it. There's extremely like 10 minutes is 10 minutes each is 3 million minutes. So there's a huge amount of traffic on Daft. You know, options, I see advertising on the big print all the time. I see thousands spent on individual properties. And if I was, and you know, let's ignore the fact that obviously I have an agenda here, but I'm a digital marketer at heart. And if I was to promote a property, I'd utilize the busiest site, get the most prominence I can there. And I think for vendors, that's what estate agents need to offer. And that's what we're trying to enable. And we're very, very interested in helping and vendors who want to make an investment in their advertising have that option. Like all digital advertising is sold. There's a bigger, better ad. Do you want to invest? At least we want vendors to have the option. If I was a vendor, I would invest. The second thing on the product list is we've enabled a solution called Offers by Daft. Uh, for obvious reasons, it's not the other way around. Um, we can't change where our brand started. Um, and what offers is, it's an efficiency tool for estate agents. So number one, you know, I think if, if we take a step back and to help the vendor, if it's a simpler process, it helps everybody. So I was bidding on a house a couple of years ago and, you know, to be back and forth missed calls. 
I played phone tennis with an estate agent all day and our office is in town and I'd be crossing the Lewis at, at, at Stevens Green every day and I'd look at my phone and it's, invariably I left the office at half five and it's 5.35 and I pick up the phone to ring the estate agent having missed three calls knowing that another bid has been placed only to be frustrated by not being able to get the estate agent on the phone because it's outside of office hours and then I'm left in the dark for, you know, 12 or 14 hours until the next morning and I understand what happened. I don't understand why this isn't an online solution where, you know, I can register as bidder, place my bid, I'll see, I'll see the other bids and now bidding is 24-7. Everyone gets a communication, vendor gets full visibility, no one's relying on multiple calls from a state agent. Estate agents are able to focus on what they do best, attracting leads and attracting offers for the property. And when someone's making offers, they know what they're doing. And offers by daft is a solution that every vendor should ask their estate agent for. It's available? It's available now. How yeah. many people are using it when I say that? Uh, How many there'd of be the... about 100, 150 live ads at any one time against, you know, 3,000. So... What's the, or, what's the sorry about eighteen thousand live sales ads? And uh, what is the uh, why, why are people not just jumping on that one? Because I, I can see exactly what you're trying to say. So, so I think there's a couple of reasons, and you know, like all problems, sometimes when you you know we're we're a development engine, we'll say we try to understand the problem, we develop the solution, and then now we're at a phase of tweaking the solution to get improved product market fit. So the estate agents that use it. Absolutely love it. So, you know, we have an, we have an estate agent uh, who has 140, has put 140 listings live over time. They've all sold fairly quickly. So there's been thousands of property through it, but at any one point, there's about 100 live. So why hasn't there been greater adoption? Some estate agents feel that the privacy of the listing is important. They're afraid of low ball offers. Privacy of the asking price is important to, to, to the vendors. I, I don't see why. Everything gets published in the property price well, register anyway. I was going to say now, the register just so, opened all of that up. So, and I also still see, I don't know why I'm asking you this, but this is obviously a bugbear of mine, is price on application. I'm just thinking, what are you trying to do here? Trying to, it's, so, you're selling something. Tell me how much it is. Yeah, so if you think the first, you know, when I was looking for a house, the first thing I asked the estate agent is when I called him, what is the present offer? Is there any? Yeah. If you made that available information available, that's twenty four seven. That's way more useful to me. So I don't fully understand why everyone hasn't adopted it. I think they will. I think it's the future of the market. We are considering whether we want to, you know, allow the agent to 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 put a setting that doesn't show the multiple offers, doesn't show the number of bidders, maybe only shows the most recent offer maybe doesn't show the most recent offer at all and only shows it to the people who are bidding. So I apply, I want to make an offer. Uh, the estate agent approves me as a bidder and then I see the bidding. So we're, we're, we're working with estate agents to best understand how we can increase the adoption of this because I think it's a no-brainer for the market um, and I think it will improve it for the vendor, the buyer and the agent. What other innovations are you looking at? So we have a valuations engine um, utilising machine learning where you can go on to DAF now and get a real-time valuation for your property. Um, it's not, you know, there's always edge cases. It's very difficult, you know, for three-bed semis in a, in, in a location where there's a high, high, high volume of them, let's say Lucan, we'll be able to give a very accurate valuation. But we can't account for the, the, the condition of the property, et cetera. So we'd always recommend going to an estate agent, but it's a very interesting tool if you're trying to calculate, you know, considering making a move, you want to know how much your house is worth, how much how much equity you have. You can quickly calculate an, on DAFT. Then you can go and we have a buying budget solution via DAFT mortgages and you can go and build up your buying budget saying, this is my valuation. This is how much equity I have. This is how much cash I have. And you can work out based on present interest rates. We have a dynamic formula in the background that'll then tell you what you can afford. And then you can save that to your profile and then you can go and look for properties that, that, that suit your budget. So you're not going to become an estate agent. Are you going to become a mortgage company? So we're This is not, another Euro a we, piece yeah, question. Yeah, so, 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 so look, we have regulatory approval to be a mortgage broker. Um, what we do at the moment is sell, send qualified leads to mortgage broker partners. We think everybody should use a mortgage broker. I think... In some cases, it's not fully understand that the fee is effectively paid by the bank 
And why wouldn't you get somebody who's paid by somebody else to help you? Uh, they don't necessarily get, they don't get a better commission off one bank or another. There's a regulatory 1%. So everybody gets 1% no matter what happens. So I think, you know, it's better buying and selling. It's not necessarily about daft. It's about helping people to utilize mortgage brokers correctly. And maybe our purpose there is simply helping you calculate a budget and then introduce you to a broker who's going to do a good job for you. Um, and that's what we're looking to do. So I don't think we're going to become a mortgages company per se. Could we continue to se send leads? And will we build some tooling to help buyers? Yeah, uh, we'll keep what we have. Will we build more? Maybe. What's the future in terms of uh, virtual reality and all that kind of stuff? Will I be sitting with a headset on my on the Lewis looking at the properties and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, so COVID put a big push on this, you know. So we looked at virtual tours. We enabled more virtual tour providers. So estate agents have fancy cameras and use multiple providers. Giraffe is an example of one, for example. Do people uh, actually use those? Has it been a good seller or not? I, I, it's, I'm so. You know, during COVID, everybody thought it was what it was all going to be about. And, you know, I thought there may be more momentum and people may want more of a virtual experience. But at the end of the day, you're, you, you, you need to go and see it. You're going to live there. You're going to have, you know, you need to look at the neighbours, you know. So, so it, it's difficult then. Pictures tell a, tell a lot. Photographs are a very effective way. Video is very effective. Some of the estate agents do brilliant videos. Some estate agents do brilliant short videos. And there's different formats working. And actually, I, my own sense is that the short video with the right editing and the right tooling, you know, people are using TikTok, is an amazing TikTok solution for to create the video, you know. But to sell the house? No. I, I, it's look, too short, isn't I, it? I don't think, well, I don't think, you know, at least any sort of scale of um, searching is there. Let's say location is the biggest factor and size and budget. TikTok doesn't enable filters for size, budget and location. And and that's, there's an, there's another world. You're, you're not necessarily going to buy a house from TikTok, but but there's cool video editing solutions that'll help you, help help people build, a, you know, build a cool video that, that, that becomes viewable on a platform like Daft. So I think short videos may become part of it, but it's not fundamentally going to change the purchase behavior. I think a lot of people are going to look at photos. Photos are very adequate and then they're going to make a decision once they've viewed the property. You have a limited market because you are just on the island. You're not going to, as I understand it, go abroad. That's a concern, is it? So I suppose it's a concern depending on our ambition. Um, I think we can do lots to add value very close to the core. So what I mean by that is, you know, if you look at international examples, they've grown much, their revenue per ad is much higher than us. And that's because the awareness of the opportunity to invest in better ads is much larger. The consumer is more savvy in terms of digital purchases, in terms of Australia and Sweden are some of the big examples and they're investing in the property platform. So there's lots of growth, um, lots of growth opportunities. And then in terms of the tooling, you know, for estate agents, we're in the process of replatforming our, what we call agent admin. We can build better tools to help them list properties, to help them manage properties. I think offers is the most recent, automated valuations has been recent. But next, maybe booking viewings. So we kind of paused in that a little bit because the viewing scenario changed with COVID. So it moved from open viewing situation to, to booked 10 minute slots. And at the moment, we're just trying to see where it lands and what users actually want and how it's going to work with estate agents. Because estate agents definitely gained efficiency by restricting who could view because lots of people come and look at properties and don't give any value and don't, aren't actually going to purchase or make an offer. So I think we can do something in the space of viewing booking because that's where we're closest. You, you know, you find a property in Daft, you send the inquiry and then maybe Daft has gone out of the picture and, and it's between the estate agent and Daft. But maybe, you know, in the offer space and in the viewing space, I think we can add a lot more value. 
handful of short answers, please. What's the future for Daft? What will you? What's the next big change that we'll see on Daft? I don't have a crystal ball. We're always but you're working debating on something next. Always. So we're working on something always. So so I think what we're really working on at the moment is the polishing of offers. We'll call it. So and getting that into a into a position that it's utilised by the majority of people. That's job number one. As in close to that, we're looking to get better at presenting help the market to get better at presenting the opportunities to vendors to invest in Daft. So we're going to push advantage ads. We're going to allow, um, every, we want every vendor to make a conscious choice about their Daft marketing is how we frame it. And then thirdly is we're going to look at products like view, uh, booking viewings. Almost the final question. And I, a lot of people ask me how to solve the housing problem. How would you solve the pro- housing problem? Have you got any really big, big, clever idea? So, the first thing that resonates me when I think about this question is that it's really, really difficult for people. So I feel really bad for anybody who wants to move. You know, you're a student who happens to be lucky enough to get a college place in Dublin. You know, that's really difficult to find somewhere to live. You know, you're a young family. It's really difficult. It's a diverse problem for society. And within that, you know, there's a funny example recently. I was down in uh, Ballady Hob in West Cork over Christmas and I met a uh, pub owner there. Joe's his name. He owns Levis's Bar in Ballady Hob, one of the best bars in West Cork, if anybody's looking. Um, That's and, your pints guaranteed it, now for the next visit, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, J- Joe was saying about Ballady Hob, you know, really successful, a couple of really good restaurants, village in West Cork doing really well from a tourism perspective and a total lack of accommodation. And originally his frustration associated this was holiday accommodation. But now he's saying the essence of the village, which is created by an artistic community. So lots of artists live there. They're not necessarily earning high salaries. It's not easy to be an artist and spend your time create, you know, in a creative space. And he said they can no longer afford to live in Ballady Hob. And he's an example of someone who moved to rural Kerry you know, I'm from Cork. That's never a good thing for anybody. So <laughs> my dad's you know, from Kerry, and I disagree. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to leave that one for we'll be we'll, we'll, that, that may take too long to resolve. So the, the the problem is is multiple. Everybody's impacted, and now society is shifting and changing as a result. And we need not thirty five thousand houses, not thirty thousand houses a month, you know, or a year. We need fifty thousand to make up. Just in population alone, you need 35,000. So we need at least 50 at the moment and the solution has to be multifaceted. Okay, so I was going to say, we know the problem. Yeah. What is, in a few words, what is the solution? So social, it's multifaceted. Social, build to rent. The big developers with build to rent accommodation, more supply lifts all boats. Supply, 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 all aspects of supply. So more social, more build to rent, more three bed semis and... What we need to do is give financing options to people. So some good government initiatives to help to buy scheme, etc. But one of the groups I feel sorry for is the small families are the ones that are getting impacted by an increase in registration or, or interest rates. So the affordability challenge for that group, I think renters need more credit for demonstrating repayment capacity based on managing to pay rent. There's people who've rented for 10 years and paid 1,500 or 1,800 a month in Dublin, haven't been able to save a deposit, but they've demonstrated a consistent repayment capacity. And I think more can be done to help that group. But that doesn't take from social housing, you know, high-end housing, all aspects need to be lifted in terms of supply. Final question, and I hope you read your email. Who would Adam Ferguson hire in a heartbeat? Can I say two people? You can, at least you read the email. You so, can say as many as you like for that. So so the first is Henry Ford. Okay, from and Cork again. Two, yeah, two things come to mind. Um, if I'd asked them what they wanted, they would have said a faster horse. And the second one is, it, you can have any colour you like as long as it's black. So there's two interesting things to that. One is the creativity 
of actually coming up with a solution that's way outside of what was happening in the market. So we, you know, I, I believe in understanding what customers want, but the real innovators make the leap from that to actually creating an innovative solution. And then the second one, why he's, you know, such a genius is that he's then linking the product to the production capability of the factory. So if he had to go black, red, pink, yellow, it adds a complexity to creating the product. And he was, you know, the first really successful factories. And part of that has to be, they're all the same. We can't make, you know, one a little bit bigger, one a little bit smaller. These aren't custom products. They're coming out through a, fa- through a line. And I think that's the real genius. And then the second one is an internal praise to the organization and to the founders of Distilled. Um, it's not a coincidence that Brian and Eamon founded two of Ireland's most successful indigenous websites, The Journal and um, Daft. Recently, we've lost our CTO, Brian, back to The Journal. Um, And I think in terms of people I've worked with before, I'd love to rehire Brian. Uh, His knowledge of our industry, his ability to create product, commercial, technical, he's held every role in Daft and mastered all. So... I'd rehire Brian as well. Ah, uh, listen, that's only rehiring the boss. Get away with that. <laughs> <laughs> that is the sickest answer ever. <laughs> and that wasn't on the script anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> Adam Ferguson, Chief Commercial Officer. You'll probably get, an, uh, get a, an upgrading from that now after that one of Distilled Media. Thank you so much for joining us on That Great Business Show. Want to increase sales, reduce overheads and provide customers with a better service? Then use Big Red Web, the easiest way to develop and maintain your website. It gives you powerful business reporting, digital marketing and automatically integrates with the award-winning Big Red Cloud Accounting software. It's a game changer for SME businesses. It's so good the government gives you a €2,500 Euro grant towards it. Big Red Web, e-commerce made simple. BigRedCloud.com forward slash web. De facto shaving oil, made only from natural oils. Nothing nasty on your skin. This interview was first posted on episode 122 of That Great Business Show. For more Great Business Insights, listen to the entire back catalogue of the 